Hey y'all, my name's Elia and I'm a third generation dairy farmer here in California and we already got quite the morning ahead of us so let's get to work. So right now, we're gonna go give a cow an IV. She's had a uh, prolapse, so basically, as she was giving birth, her uterus came out, and it's not supposed to come out. Yeah, I'm out here with my dad, and so basically her contractions never stopped. So, with these IVs, we got to uh, give her dextrose, with it, which is sugar. So basically what that is is energy, and then calcium to help uh, body function. Yeah, to make her body function so she doesn't cramp up and things like that. But we have to give the calcium really, really slow so that it doesn't give her a heart attack. All right, so I'm holding up the IV, the dextrose sugar, but uh, I'm not gonna show the cow because I don't know, YouTube might take this down or block it because there's a little bit of blood where the vein is where we're entering that. Yeah. Yeah. Cruelty to animals. Yeah. Hey, stop that. All right, now I'm out here. I got the hip clamps, which hook up the cow's hips to pick her up because she's just laying in a really bad spot and we need to move her and uh, we can't do it just, just ourselves. Um, you know, 1,200 pound cow and uh, we just can't move her with our hands. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get the bobcat coming over here right now and uh, on a better note we got my uncle feeding the heifers right here in the center are all our heifers and uh, in the far back of that barn over there we got uh, pregnant heifers um, better ready to calve soon and uh, it's one of our milk cow barns and here's our high cows our best producing milk cows right up there so yeah we can milk about 850 cows at any given time of the year. That's our average, so. We're a medium-sized dairy here in California. All right, so we have the bobcat right back there, and um, we got her to stand. So let's see if I can show you without getting anything up in there. But here she is, she's standing right now. Uh, now we got these little heifers. These are our youngest heifers. They come in at about six months, so yeah. And then right there, she is actually half Jersey, half Charlet. Charlet is a uh, beef breed of animal. So eventually she'll be uh, put on the chopping block, to say the least. So I'm in the uh, service truck and uh, I just dropped off the bobcat back in the pit where we have all of our feed for the cows, we call it the pit. And um, we've got that cow put all back together, stitched up and uh, now we're ready to take on the rest of the day, so let's get to it. All right, I'm out here right now with my dad, and he is feeding a calf, a newborn from this morning. It's a bull calf. It doesn't have any yellow ear tags like this one in the back. Whoa, I can't even, she's running away from me, I can't even point. They're all getting ready to get taken off to the calf yard. So, uh, yeah. And he's not having a very good time eating. He's being a dummy. But, oh, looks like it's time to go to the bathroom. Okay, so also I said this bull calf was mid-poop, right? And I showed you that. And it's actually green. So what green means that it's their very, very first poop. So you guys are able to see his very, very first poop. Such an honor, I know. It's great. What you doing, dog? I mean, cat. You guys know what I mean. Come here. Oh, no, you're going to be a brat? What's up, buddy? This is a dairy cat, copper. He's what, nine years old in June. After that prolapse cow, I got pretty dirty, so I brought some extra coveralls that I'm gonna change into. All right, so we're out here. I'm with my cousin up there, and we are getting some dry cows to dry. Um, it's about time they go into the lead up pen, or excuse me, the dry cow pen, so that they can uh, have their baby.
So what, three more? That's it. Out of this fin. Come on, girl. Whoa. All right, so my cousin and I, we grabbed about five cows from our pin six. We're gonna dry those cows. And what that means when we dry cows is they're towards the end of their milking cycle. And so we're gonna bring them into the milk barn, give them an antibiotic in their teats, as well as a vaccine for pink eye and clostridium. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a few more cows. Come on girl, let's go. All right, so he's sorting through the last of the cows here in pin four um, in our back transfer alleyway. And uh, just trying to find the last six cows we need to dry. And then we have one more animal uh, over in a little pen. So here we are. Okay. Last one, we don't need her. All right, so behind me, way back there, we have 11 of the 12 cows we need. One of the uh, cows that we need to dry is in a little pen, as I explained a little bit earlier. Um, and uh, we need to go grab her, but first I must set the gates right up here. Open up all the gates to the sprinkler trowel so that we can get the cows in there. Alright, so I got the last cow right here. And you can hear her mooing right now. Right here, close up these gates. Push them through the sprinkler trowel, up to the drip pen, into the barn, and we can dry our cows. Come on, girls, let's go. Come on, hey. Eh? Let's go, ladies, come on. That's 12 of them. I pushed her in here. My dad had her set up. Come on, girls. Hey, now, get up in there. Let's go. Come on, girl. Hey. All right, so I'm on the quad right now. I'm gonna ride over to my uncle. I'm not gonna help with uh, the dry cows anymore. I'm gonna clean out a drain with my uncle. And uh, what that's gonna do is gonna let the pipe open so that Plenty of water can get through so we can flush the lanes and keep the cow's feet clean. Alright everybody, we are back from cleaning out that drain. I couldn't get the footage, it's just 
too messy and too dirty, as you can see. Um, it's still a little bit dirty, but that's nothing crazy. It was a lot worse earlier. But um, I climbed down into a big cement block, basically, what it is, about 15 feet deep, and I had to pull a bunch of rope out there, some bailing tarns, what it was, and uh, get that cleaned out. And then we had a clogged pipe, and it was just too much cow poop was stacked up over it, and I had to dig that out. And then eventually we got a big inch and a half PVC pipe, about 20 feet long, jammed it in and out of the pipe to let that water get free and so the pipe wasn't clogged anymore. But we got that. We're in the track right now. We're gonna push up the feed for the cows and then we're gonna go have some lunch. I really should clean this window up. It's a little bit dirty. So we're just pushing the feed for the cows so they can eat. That's the view from the tractor.